We're in Texas. USA, I love it to be precise. I tell you what, I love Texans. Some of the most hospitable people I've ever met, and they are turning it on for Shark Fights 14. Let's go up to Brad Stark to get us underway in this 175 catchweight fight. Ladies and gentlemen, moving now to bout number four on the Shark Fights 14 part tonight. Get him out here on his way to the blue corner, Lucas Lopez. Lucas Lopez out of Finney's MMA and St. Louis, Missouri. With Louis Sapo and Jesse Finney in the corner, brings in a record of 19 and 11, 10 knockouts and five submissions. He comes in here tonight on a hat trick of losses to Mojo Horn, Brendan Seguin, and Cortez Coleman, none of which went the distance. That makes this a must win fight for Lopez. He says in the last three fights he had personal problems and also a very bad right shin injury where the shin kept splitting when he got kicked hard. He said it's all healed up now and he is ready to finally get another win on the board. Lopez, who began his pro career in 1999, went an impressive 8-2 in his first 10, including a win over Thiago Alves. He's been training for three months solid leading up to this fight, working on his Muay Thai. In particular, his knees, his kicks, his elbows. He has a very solid leg kick for the lead thigh. And also a very effective double leg takedown. He'll receive no favours here tonight from the man they call the Greek, Mike Ramzoulis. and his boxing coach, Aaron Navarro. Mike, who brings in a record of 11-2-1, eight knockouts, two submissions, comes in tonight with three wins on the trot over Anselmo Martinez at Shark Fights 12, Jonathan Harris and Joe Christopher. A very strong wrestler. He fought Kamal Shalros to a draw and proved his strength in that fight as Shalros couldn't hold him down. Began his martial arts career practicing Shotokan karate at age seven, then trained in American freestyle karate, then the Korean art of Taekwondo. Then he did a bit of shotaru and kickboxing before moving to Houston to train with Sol Solis. And a year ago, began training in boxing and cross-training in BJJ. Here's how they stack up in our tail of the tape. One year, the elder is the Greek. Six foot even versus six foot three. 174.2 versus 175.2. And the reach advantage goes the way of Lucas Lopez. Ramzoulis says he's looking for a kick knockout tonight. He wants a spectacular finish for the live television audience here on HDNet. Brandon Stark gets underway. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the warrior standing the Tom Stanfield Blue Corner. He is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter with a mixed martial arts record of 19 wins and 11 losses. He stands six feet one inches tall, and he weighed in at 175 and one quarter pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Lucas Lopez. This freestyle fighter, fighter standing in the red corner has a mixed martial arts fighter, record of 10 wins and two losses. Standing six feet tall, 174 and one quarter pounds, he fights out of Houston, Texas. Mike the Greek Brazilians. The third man in the shark cage, Big John McCarthy.
Lucas Lopez. The Greek, Mike Bronzoulis. We are set for three by five, 175 pound catch weight fight. The voice, Michael Chavello, Frank Trigg with you on HD Net at Shark Fights 14. Inside five, you get a high left round kick. The Greek opens up like a house of fire. He said he wanted a spectacular kick knockout and he went hunting for it from the very opening bout. Outside thigh kick, the very long legs here of Lucas Lopez. Bronzoulis raging forward with the right hand and looks for the inside lead thigh. High left round kick again and backs Lopez against the cage. Lopez now spins the Greek around. Underhooks here from Lopez, goes oh. for the takedown, gets it top position inside the guard of the Greek. This is where this is where Lopez wanted to be. He said he wanted to be on top, try to submit him from here. Wow, great job as always getting some space. Big left hand from Lopez. Now moves back to the center of the cage. He comes in as the underdog plus 315 Lopez. Bronzoulis the favorite at minus 415. A very aggressive fight so far. Looping punch there off the lead hand from Bronzoulis. Peppers out the jab. Outside thigh kick, but Lopez just brought the shin up to check. Good sticky jab, and again, threading it through the guard there, Lopez. Finds target with the uppercut, and the short left hook. Lucas Lopez on the front foot in the high knee. Lopez looking very good coming forward. Using the extension well, and there's the Muay Thai knee again, and the flicking front kick. Left hooks again from Lopez, fires the right hand down the tube. Muay Thai clinch and a high knee again. Look at these right hands ripping in from Lopez. Gonzalez trying to pull the head down, single handed clinch now looks on the double hand. High knee had no mustard behind it. Here's Greek, we'll call it no tzatziki behind it. Lopez with a stinging jab again. Spinning back fist! Manson Gibson style from Lopez, and again. And he went to the well one time too many. Muay Thai clinch, high knee. Lopez absolutely rampaging here in the first round. Oh. Wow. This is just violence, Frank. He pulled, this is the first time at 175, so I'm wondering if he's trying to get this fight over as quickly as possible, worrying about the shape as the fight goes on later. Try to get a takedown there and end up pulling him on top of him. Now he's in a little bit of trouble. He's in a spot that's not very good. If he rolls his hips over, he gets the knee bar. Good sweep. They're going to play a leg battle here. Now Bronzoulis just thrusts him off and springs back to his feet. Launches a right hand and a high knee. To the upper right rib change. Then looks for the jawline. Uppercuts from the Greek, but nothing getting through cleanly. Lopez is going to sit behind that jab again. Chin down. Oh, and he fakes it and weaves through with a nice left hook. Muay Thai clinch again from Lopez. We said he's been training specifically on his Muay Thai, and it's showing so far. Bully button through the back with that knee. Lopez is not much of a puncher, and for the amount of time between his last fight and this fight to work on his Muay Thai as much as he possibly could, I didn't think it would improve this much. There's a cut over the left eye here of Lopez in a very dangerous spot just beneath the eyebrow. But the right hand just has no power behind it here from Lopez. He's finding the target, but just no starch. Nice knee from Bronzoulis up to the sternum, then rips into the upper left rib cage. And Bronzoulis is breathing heavy. Ooh, oh. Good uppercut there from Lopez, but again, just needed more force behind it. He gets tagged on the chin with the jab. The Greek covers up now, double forearms. You're right, Michael. Lopez doesn't have much behind any one of his punches, but they're definitely getting through and they're landing on the mark. So scoring points for the judges. But wind-wise, he'll be able to keep up this pace. He's already starting to fade, and we're only, you know, we have a minute left in the first round. Lopez lands the right hand again, but it had less weight behind it than Kate Moss, just doing no damage, even though he is landing. Left hook from the Greek. And again from Bronzoulis, going hell for leather now. 40 seconds remaining in the first round. A toe-to-toe -to -toe striking fist here. And Bronzoulis gets the better of that jamming exchange. Drops down for a double leg, drives him to the cage. Can he get him on the canvas now, Lopez? Picks him up, he doesn't, picks him up, and we'll get him down. He's in a perfect position to get, pick him up a little bit. Oh, yes. sits the Greek on his backside. Butterfly guard here from Bronzoulis. 
Gonzalez wants back to his feet. He doesn't want to stay on the ground here with Lopez. And the Brazilian who is wearing the colours of the Brazilian national team goes back to his corner. And I await to see how Frank scores this first round. A lot of damage on the face early on of both men, particularly the cut over the left eye of Lucas Lopez. Doing a great job here swinging, but like Michael said earlier, Lucas has his best position really is the knee sliding up to center. That's his best strike, that's his best spot, and has the most starch behind it. The reality of it is, is that he's throwing a lot of punches or finding the mark, but he's not hitting him hard enough to put him down. So he needs to come back to this Muay Thai clinch and throw as many knees as he can once he's in there and be really careful when he chases him across the ring like that because if, really honestly, if the Greek just stopped the player's feet, he's gonna put him down. He gets caught here with a quick uppercut right in the middle of this melee. And boom, two punches right through because he's got his chin up nice and high and he's really just throwing almost light punches. Lucas Lopez takes the first round on Frank's fight card. 10-9, we are in agreement. How are you scoring it, folks? Wherever you're watching, Chunk Fights 14 live on HDNet. Michael Chevello, Frank Trigg with you as John McCarthy gets us underway in the second. And that Greek nose of the Greek Mike Gonzalez is even more lumped up after those jabs from Lopez in the first. Just fakes the right hand there, does the Greek. Looks for a switch up round kick to Lopez. High left round and a front kick from the Greek. Lopez with an overhand right and again. Oh, Bronzoulis walked into a high knee off the clinch. Lucas has got to get his chin down. He's going to get tired. The, the Greek is doing great. A nice left hook. He keeps hitting with it just a little bit too far out. If he steps in a half an inch, he'll put him down. Beautiful left hook there from Bronzoulis. And the Greek takes a big breath, and Lucas timed it. Checks a low kick of the Brazilian. Inside thigh kick from Lopez. Bronzoulis backs him up against the cage now. Can he work some knees on the inside here, the Greek? He's trying to go for the underhooks, but he gets locked in a Muay Thai clinch. Gonzalez has got to go to town on the left side of the face here of Lopez. It is ripe for the picking. It is red ripe. I don't know if Bronzoulis has necessarily got the energy at this stage to try and launch a head kick knockout that he so wants to do. The opposing the party means they really want to get a head kick knockout, but you're right, Mike. I think now at this point they've used so much energy that play game plan is out the window and move on to something else. Gonzalez, who enjoys geocaching in his spare time. It's fun. Gonna <laughs> try and find a way to victory here, though. Geocaching's way to victory. There's no GPS available here in the cage. Right hand lead there from the Greek. Jabs from Lopez. And the right hand. Look at the headache maker. Just still no power, though, from the Brazilian's hands. Drops down for a single. I don't know if there's enough air left in this room now to, to take a breath that the Greek just took. Lopez was looking for a takedown, resets himself back in the center of the cage here. Under three minutes remaining, spinning back fist, but the Greek got under it. Muay Thai clinch from Lopez. Good stiff jab again. Shoots in for a double. The Greek sprawled, circles around. He'll look to take the back here of Lopez. Nice work from the Greek. Lopez what can has to do from here, Frank? Lopez has got to move. He can't slay here. He's going to get beat up in this position. Better, much better. And honestly, you know, I want to see I want to see the Greek try to change positions by getting past his guard very quickly. So he's letting him get back into his feet. This is a battle back and forth. He needs to get on top of his start grinding the powder. Lopez's face is a bloodied mess at the moment. It's the Greek checks the low kick. They both look on a Muay Thai clinch, but it's Lopez who got the better of the exchange. Again, those punches just having no effect, even though Bronzoulis is taking more hits than a blackjack table. Well, actually, not here in Texas. He can't do that. But still, no effect in those punches, Frank. At all. 